in and and I am very much at the beginning stages of, you know, really comprehending the magnitude of impact that this kind of distinguishing difference between ego and soul really has on our on my my life and um i'm really grateful to be actually on this journey and i I enjoy these conversations with you every week because it just invites me and 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 why i really love doing this life to share this with the world because it invites more people to also just inquire that that little bit more into ourselves because it's like knowing thyself is the ultimate quest of this life as a being on this planet and my my journey um has really you know spent a lot of time growing up in far north queensland and um being very active and very kind of physical sports orientated and very much all about competition you know we've got to win at all costs we've got to do what it takes we've got to you know go out there and prove ourselves and um, you know, prove it to our coaches and prove it to our teammates and really like um, play well. You've got to perform. You've got to do really, really well. And if you don't perform, then, you know, you're going to be out. You're going to be benched. You're going to be off the team. You're going to be out of the inclusion of this tight knit group of um, men. And you're going to be, you know, ostracized and outcasted. And so for me, like growing up with that kind of dynamic as a, primary focus in my life as a young boy I really um and and because I was I found myself quite naturally um excelling in these areas I realized you know I really looked at because I took it so personally inside myself that there was there was an insecurity and fear of not being accepted and fear of not being you know, patted on the back and celebrated and and given a certificate or a trophy or a medal or, you know, so there was like this void inside that if I don't do really well, then I'm not going to receive love. And so I I always pushed hard and I, I always tried to, you know, perform in a way that I would be able to um, be recognized and be seen. It was my way of like being, you know, having significance in as a as a it's a young boy and so as i grow grew older that pattern played out continuously in my life and it not just um happened in the sports arena but it it kind of spilt over into other areas of my life um in my relationships in um you know my interactions with other male peers and without any kind of connection or um you know, practice to recognizing that there is more to life than just me being at the center of the entire universe. I, I really, it, it, it took me to an extreme length of um, situations that I had, what I realized now subconsciously manifested in my life to hit me really hard, to shake me up and to make me realize, whoa, like, um, I have to be really humble because I was being humbled in that moment through a course of injuries and, um, you know, not being able to play sports anymore. So I went through a huge identity crisis and realizing, wow, there is, I actually don't have that much control of the outside circumstances, but what I can control is what's happening inside of me. And it was really, um, humbling to to go through that process of you know taking time out to reflect on um my behavioral patterns and my choices in life to see whether i was you know often at times acting out um because my ego was needing to be praised or needing to gain significance or if i want to choose to change that and look at you know a, a, a new path forward that is more about contribution and more about um, love and connection and listening a more of a listening into my my body and into my um, you know my f- physical experience as well as my emotional experience and and being able to express that openly and freely to move forward so that I can choose to create my my life in a way that is in in alignment 
with, you know, what is really going to serve other human beings as well, not just taking what I need to fulfill me in this moment because I'm insecure and scared and in fear, but rather how can I stay grounded in the truth of, you know, our reality and our existence, which is so much more than a physical vessel and a physical being, but how can I, you know, then from that place serve my community more? So I definitely want to highlight the fact here, Yvonne, that I am certainly still very much at the beginning of this journey, being um, a 29-year-old uh, young man and, and learning lots as I um, from other people like yourself, you know, with so much wisdom of your your life and so much practice, um, you know, because what I've re recognized in the cycles of nature is that these old patterns generally reappear over time and they come up again and having the awareness and the choice to be able to choose, do I want to go, you know, backwards in a sense in my journey and go back to where I was as a boy or do I want to continue to heal these aspects of myself and and forgive you know my myself and my upbringing and my family and my parents and and really love you know the, the responsibility that it takes to move forward with um this deeper connection to the inner calling of the the spirit of the human life which um which definitely feels